All right, everybody, we're back with another Lego review. It's a city set this time. It's set, set, set number 60316. It's a six plus set. And it's the Lego Police Station, uh, 668 pieces. We have five minifigures plus a police canine, a dumpster, two land vehicles, and a helicopter, along with the actual police station build, which has a road plate. So let's get into the minifigures first. First we have the crook here, first crook here, I put some handcuffs on him, he does not have any second face, so that's him right there. We have our one of our police officers with a canine, so this is a canine officer, she does not have a back a second print on her head. I wish the canine had maybe a little bit more printing on it, um, it's supposed to be a German Shepherd, I mean you can definitely get German Shepherds that look like that, but maybe a little bit more printing would be nice. Then we have our other police officer here. Um, this is our desk police officer. Uh, that's where I put them at least. No back printing on this one. And they do not have a secondary face. I didn't think they did. I wanted to double check though. And then we have our next crook here. She does have a secondary face and a Hagrid wig we can put on her as well. As you can see, she has the uh, bandit eyes there come on and then our helicopter pilot his visor goes up and down and he has a back print as well as a secondary face and i would not want to see that face on my pilot to be perfectly honest so i'm a little confused on that one but that's okay <laughs> it's kind of funny i guess so those are our five minifigures here, plus the dog. Good looking minifigures overall. And I like that you get three police officers in there too. Two land vehicles we have. We'll start with the police canine vehicle. It opens up here and inside you can fit, and I'll do it here in a second and then I'll show you what it looks like. You'll be able to put in your canine officer here and then Probably be easier to put the dog in first actually. Nope, I got it in just perfectly there. You have your canine officer and your dog ready to go. And we're gonna cover that back up. I do wish they'd put maybe a red, a trans red brick right here, two, two by one plate. Uh, but that's okay, not the end of the world. And back here we have space for one of our crooks and we're gonna go ahead and put one in there. I'll put this guy in there. And that's where he would sit. Boom. Now, this is a canine SUV. So I would like to see, it does have the printed piece that says police. I'd like to see maybe a sticker or another printed piece that said canine or canine dog, uh, something like that um, for each side of the cruiser here, of the SUV here. It does have a license plate on the back with a set number. It does not have one on the front. Some states in the United States don't require that. It does have a nice front. I like this. I like this SUV a lot. I think it's really cool. Uh, a really cool addition to the fleet of vehicles that we have. Then we have a garbage truck here, and I think it's really cool. The garbage truck. You can actually drive up here. You can put a minifigure in there, obviously. And you can drive it right up to the dumpster here. Just gonna make sure it has seats. What you do is you open this up. And you can actually, I'm gonna make sure that's on there good. You can actually tilt this up and dump your trash in there. Woo! And then you can access it back here. All right. So I'll set that aside. Two very nice vehicles. I really like that vehicle, actually. And then our police station here. We'll start with the helicopter on its helipad here. It slides right on and off. And we'll go ahead and put our pilot in there, actually. Let's see here. We'll forego the scared face right now. And just go with his less scared face. 
and there we go. And you can just fly away. So we'll lift that off just so it doesn't fall off. What I do like is we have a little dog course here. Um, the dog can go on here, come off, go in between the pylons there. I didn't realize what it was until I had I had to look it up and see what I was building. I thought it was kind of funny that they had that. They also have a little surprise here that the dog left. You can use your imagination. There's the heliport with a searchlight. Um, I think the searchlight's a little weird right next to the helicopter. I'd like to maybe see it over here, but that's okay. You can obviously very, very easily just move it over there. Come back to the ground here. We have a, an entry booth. Now, I'm putting it here. As you can see, the gate is right here. If you go in here and do that, that's how you lift the gate. So from the front, if you wanted to bring in a vehicle, you'd come in here, lift the gate, and drive the vehicle in and through. Pretty neat. Now, I, the only thing is I think I'd like to see the gate up more. Obviously that would remove the dog course, but if it was up here more, kind of make more sense because you know, you'd stop your vehicle, you'd talk to the person in the booth. That's normally how it would be done, I feel, at least on military bases that I've been on, that was how it was done, uh, generally. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a play set. It still works really well. So, we've looked at everything kind of on the left side. Let's look at the main courtyard. We do have the road plate. We have some plants outside for some accents. We have a surveillance camera watching the very front door. We also have some lights here, here, and here, just to provide some illumination. That obviously don't work, but to provide some illumination to the uh, front courtyard there. Let's go over to the jail cell. And this is really the highlight of the whole set for me. Um, right here is the squirrel. I mean, honestly, that's why we spent $80, the squirrel. No, the squirrel is nice though. Um, I think he only comes in one other set with two squirrels. Uh, maybe a couple more now actually, but, but that's really cool. I like having the squirrel. So. Now we have a jail cell. There's a little bit of a secret thing. You can break your person out of the jail cell using that dump truck. This whole thing will come out. So we're gonna break that out just to show the bed. Ooh, that's a nasty glare there. Set up in a different spot than usual today. I'm in my kitchen on my counter. And there's the bed. Um, here, if we'll leave that out for a moment, there's a toilet, a plunger, and what maybe is toilet paper? I, I don't know if it's supposed to be a, I don't think it's supposed to be a sink. Kind of dirty toilet paper, but <laughs> I don't know. And that would be right there. The jail cell has an opening door right here for your inmate to get in and out. Um, and then you have a tree in the courtyard here with some barbells, dumbbells. Pretty cool there. Now let's go to the main tower. We're gonna let me show you the front first. It has a double opening door. Pretty cool. And then below we have a desk, and you can have your. This is all accessible really easily. I can, if I can do this with one hand, I can't, of course. But there you go. He can sit behind the desk. You have a coffee maker over there, and then another door that opens to the uh, lockup courtyard. And then you have upstairs, no stairs going into the upstairs, which is fine on a set like this. But you have uh, an area here for, well, we have a couple donuts there. We have a couple radios and a pair of handcuffs. We also have a camera set up to take pictures of people. Um, it would take mug shots, um, which is pretty cool, I think. And then there's a little walkway. I'd like to see a door right there that goes outside into the helipad. Um, I feel like they could have just included one extra door and one extra, um, well, it would be a two by four brick to make a nice doorway there. Wish they had done that. And uh, honestly, I think we're gonna put one in because we have plenty of those. So we're gonna put a doorway in right here, like a glass door, just like the other ones. And it looks like it'll fit no problem. Now. On the third floor, we have our helicopter control pad area. There's a satellite dish on top for communications purposes. Um, or, yeah, communications purposes. And then uh, you have antennas for the same thing. They, you know, this actually would be your radar, I guess. My bad. Uh, I know aeronautics pretty well. <laughs> but these, this would be your uh, 
radar, and these would be for your communications, I guess. Um, and then, you know, the guy up there or the girl up there that's, you know, running air traffic control has binoculars, has uh, the coffee, maybe a ladder going down from here, down there, so they can get to the searchlight more easily would have been nice. The searchlight up here actually would have been nice too. Maybe some accent lights here. I don't know. They could have done a lot of stuff. We'll make some alter alterations to this to make that happen. So that's basically the tour of the police station and the vehicles and the characters. A couple things I'd like to see, um, or I'd like to do to this, uh, is add the door there. Possibly move this searchlight up here. Um, we might buy a second set, and I think that would give us everything we need to kind of basically double it up uh, and enclose the back, which is what we want to do for our city. And, you know, we won't have a second helipad, but we'll do some stuff, you know, we'll make some stuff work. Make the jail, uh, the lockup a little bit bigger. You wouldn't really have a prison attached to a police station like this. But just make a two-cell jail. Um, maybe build a Sally port over here. Uh, the Sally port would be where you would have, um, that glare is nasty right now. Uh, the Sally port is where we have the police cars come in, and then they take the uh, accused, the uh, prisoner, out of their car, and then bring them into the jail for processing. So that might be something that we do on this, and just add more doors. I'd like to add more doors here, maybe one on this booth, some, something here. Obviously, we don't want to completely limit our access to this control here, but maybe do something. Maybe not there, but maybe put a door here and a door here, something like that. Overall, though, a really nice set. I really like it. My son loves it. He's asking to play with it, and I just had to make this video really quickly before he got to it because it's going to end up in, you know. He's pretty good with sets, but he will take parts off of it. He probably won't like the squirrel. He doesn't like that stuff, so um, <laughs> we'll probably just take the squirrel right off. A um, couple changes I'd make to it. So the only other thing I probably would do is, um, uh, what was I going to say? It's a really good set. Oh, the canine. I'd add more I'd add more print to the dog itself and then have a sticker for the vehicle to denote it as a canine police vehicle, uh, which you do see in real life, at least in my area, New York State. So anyways, guys, I'm going to give this set a 7.5 out of 10. It does this job really well, I think. A couple additions they could have made to, you know, make it really get up to like an 8.5, like a door and the canine sticker would have been enough to get me up that high, I think. Um, big things that they left out, I think. But overall, still really, really good. Um, again, might buy a second one just to add more uh, more to it. And we'll buy a bunch of plates, uh, gray plates to extend that and uh, we'll have fun with it. So anyways, guys, if you like the video, um, please leave a like or you can, you know, leave a dislike if you want to. It's completely up to you. Um, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. It's, you know, we, we're just done with my son's birthday party, so we still have birthday party stuff flying around. Overall, though, it's not too bad. We have a, we have a nice big kitchen here, so we can move stuff around. Um, and a nice view out there of our woods behind our house. Well, actually, that's the side. But, um, but yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. Leave a comment. I'm not looking to make, like, amazing videos here. Just to give a quick review. I guess it's not that quick. It's 14 minutes almost. But, um... Looking to give a thorough review and my thoughts on these sets. So, another thing they could have added, by the way, is like a shovel there, and maybe like a broom there, and I'm dumping trash. That's okay. But um, but yeah, leave a comment. A comment would be great. And if you want to see more videos, just subscribe. I'd love to get up to you know a couple hundred subscribers at some point. But honestly, I'm not looking to make this a huge thing. So do whatever you got to do. But subscribing shows me that you're supporting me. Thank you so much. See you later, everyone.